we help ourselves not the world we help ourselves not the world once there was a poor man who desires wealth he heard from somewhere he should get hold of a ghost he could order that ghost to give him money or any possession he likes and so the poor man asked the asked the help of his sage he told the sage that he really needs to capture a ghost the so the sage told him to not to bother with it the poor man should just go home but the poor man still insisted he kept on begging the sage sir please i need to have a ghost please help me he said the sage was annoyed and finally gave instructions to the man take this charm with you tamin mantra hold it tight while saying the magic words a ghost will show itself to you he will follow everything you say but remember ghosts are dangerous you must keep the ghost busy you must always give him something to work on if you fail the ghost will take your life the poor man said that it will be easy he has many things to ask from the ghost he will not fail and so the poor man went deep into the forest he held the charm and said the magic words suddenly a huge ghost is floating in front of him the ghost spoke you have captured me with your magic now you must keep me busy or else i will kill you the poor man gave his order ghost will build me a palace in just a second the palace is there the ghost said it's done the ghost sure me with money and jewelries in just a blink of an eye the man is surrounded with huge jewelry and gold silver and other gems is done the ghost said ghost bring this forest to the ground and build a city on top of it in a in just a second the city is right there before the man's eyes is done the ghost said is there anything else now the man is scared he cannot think of anything to ask from the ghost give me something to do now or else i will kill you or eat you the man is terrified he ran as fast as he could he did not stop until he found the sage sir please protect me he explained to the sage that he has no order any more from the ghost and that it is going to kill him the ghost arrived then and the man hid behind the sage i will eat you the ghost kept on saying finally the sage told the man listen carefully look for a dog with a curly tail take your word out and take your sword out and cut the dog's tail give the tail to the ghost and order him to go straight strengthen it give the tail to the ghost's ghost and order him to go straight it out the man did but the sage said the he gave the curly tail to the ghost and said strengthen it means straight strengthen make it straight strengthen it when he given a tail to the ghost and said ask the ghost to make it straight every time that the ghost tried the dog still kept on curling up he cannot make it straight no matter what he does several days passed by and still the ghost couldn't do it finally the ghost was exhausted he said i never had a difficult problem like this in my life 
in my existence. Let me have a compromise with you. The ghost told the man, If you set me free right now, you can keep all the riches I have given you and I promise never to harm you again. The man is pleased with the agreement. He let the ghost go. The world we live in is like the dog's curly tail. Many people, many noble men have tried to strengthen, make it reformed. It since the beginning of history. But once they let go, the world curls up again. Therefore, it's better not to concern yourself with the immorality and mistakes of the world. Just let it be. Instead, focus on the things you can control. Focus on improving yourself and work and your work. Strive to be calm, to be fair and to love. Serve as many as people you can. The world would still be curled up. But it is already a noble duty to strengthen yourself. Make yourself reform. Conclusion. No matter who you are, what you do, you can achieve greatness. You don't need to be a monk. Even if you are a housewife or a wage earner, you can be enlightened. But important is to serve with all your heart, work for your work's sake. When you don't expect any reward, then you can truly be happy. You will know peace and you will be free. If I correlate this, this is what the Lord Krishna has explained in Bhagavad Gita to Arjuna. That is the Nishkam Karam. When the Arjun raised the question, He Lord, how should I kill my brothers, uncles, grandfathers and relatives? What should I gain? The answer came for the Arjun from the Lord Krishna. Hey Arjun, don't bother about it. Just do your duty. Don't think about results, whether it is good or bad. You just work for the sake of work, just for the protection of dharma. Protection of dharma means that was the duty of Arjuna. And this is what Swami Vivekanand has explained in this book that no matter where we are, in which position we are, whether we are teacher, doctor, housewife, householder, wage earner, anyone, we just have to do our duty like we are doing worship. With this, I am signing off. Very soon, I will be presenting another book. Till then, take care. Have a nice life. Thank you. Thank you so much for listening to me. And keep growing, keep learning. Thanks.